Willkommen zurück bei The Zodiac Trial. Letztes Mal sind wir in diesem Raum aufgewacht mit unserem Freund, dem Ochsen. Hallo Ochse! Und wir haben ein wenig geredet und Tablets gefunden, also kleine Maschinchen mit Bildschirm. <lacht> und jetzt wollen wir den Raum verlassen, denn die Tür ist anscheinend offen. Das heißt, wir gehen jetzt. Let's get going. Ach ja, wir wurden entführt. Haha, <lacht> lustig, ne? Uh, let's get going. We prepared to leave the room, but before we could leave, an augmented warped demonic voice started speaking over the speakers. Good morning. Good morning, Rat. Good morning, Ox. How do I see you sleep? Who is this? A message from the kidnappers, no doubt. I hope you got some rare rest. You'll need it for the upcoming race. Be prepared for the jury to face judgment. The hell? I should rest you listen to what I have to say very carefully. Failure to comply with what I tell you will result in, in immediate disqualification. And trust me, that outcome would leave no one satisfied. Now then, you shall both promptly proceed in the, to the starting line. In this case, that would be the cafeteria on the first floor. Right outside this room should be a staircase which will take you to the first floor. And for the one there, it's a simple light turn to get to there. Before you leave, make sure each of you grabs the tablet with your respective animal printed on it. Take good care of these. They will be critically important. That is all for now. Once again, do, do come quickly. The Jade Emperor eagerly awaits your arrival. And with that... The speaker is cut off, leaving us just standing there, processing what we had just heard. What on earth was that? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Starting line? Upcoming race? Jade Emperor? Seriously, what is this lunatic even talking about? It sounds as if we were on a really dumb reality TV show. That would be unlikely. Still, this is certainly outside my expectations. It appears that whoever captured us intends on indulging in some childish fantasy, where they are this Jade Emperor, and we are his toys. What a clown. <laughs> what a clown. I guess there's no real reason to fear them, though. I wouldn't be sure. The one line, be prepared for the jury to trace judgment, concerns me. Though it was difficult to tell with his voice, Alter, it seemed like he said that with an uncomfortable amount of seriousness. It would be unwise to write this all off as just some dumb joke. Speaking of, why bother with that voice alterer? It was really annoying. It was hard to even make out what they were saying. I wonder if that message was pre-recorded or if that voice filter can be applied to live audio. Hey, don't you think that the voice filter is actually a big hint? What do you mean? I mean, why bother with the thing if we don't know our perpetrator? Perpetrator. Since they're taking the time to hide their voice, they've got to be someone who we will recognize. Not necessarily. It might just be a precaution. In case the perpetrator is later put under police suspicion, the voice filter prevents us from positively identifying them. I guess that makes sense. But at the very least, it means that they don't plan on killing us, right? True, it would be rather a logical precaution if they were surely executing us. What? It would be a rather a logical pre precaution if they were sh surely executing us. Ach so, ja, okay, verstehe, ich verstehe. <coughs> Though that does not guarantee our safety. Are you always like this? Sorry, sorry, I'm just trying to help. Uh, let's move on to what he said about heading to the starting line. Doesn't sound like we have much of a choice in that matter, huh? Not necessarily. We could try boycotting the orders and not go there. It might force the Kidderber to tip their hand. Oh, you mean pissing off the scary voice who just threatened us? Great plan. Or we could look around the school first, instead of just heading straight to the cafeteria. <laughs> Wandering around a creepy abandoned building while still managing to piss off the scary voice? An even better idea! Look, I'm just throwing around some ideas. You're fumbling around with some concepts at best. 
Oh, okay, okay, you're probably right. As much as I hate to admit it, at the moment we don't have much of a choice. For now at least, we should shut up, do what the voice tells us, and pay close attention to everything that it says. Agreed. Then, if we're in agreement, why don't we stop making our way down? Let's! Ah, super! Wir werden gezwungen. With that, we grabbed our stuff and exited the room. Some part of me froze up the moment I set foot into the hallway like I had just entered some hostile dimension. But no, it was just a normal school. Nothing to worry about. Like the voice said, there were stairs right by the classroom we had been in. We made our way down and soon we were on the first floor. With a big more with a, with a bit more wondering, we made our way to the cafeteria. As we got closer, I started to hear voices. It seemed as though we weren't the only ones in the building. The cafeteria ended up being pretty spacious. It made sense that the voice TM, yeah, wichtig, die voice muss getrademarked werden. Voice trademarked would choose this to be the gathering area. I also That's good. I also couldn't help but notice a large TV bolted onto the center wall. Judging by the surrounding aesthetics, it didn't seem to have initially been there. More importantly, there were four other people already in the room, each of whom had a metal necklace just like ours. The man the man and woman arguing at the other side of the room caught my eye, but before I knew it, we were approached by the other two people present. Hey, uh, great to see my faces. Hell yeah, it's great. For a minute there, I was worried that those two were, the, were gonna be the only ones here. Well, that was double for us. Seriously, if we were left wandering around this creepy school by ourselves any longer, I think I would have gone crazy. My comp is my company really that bad? Anyways, you two didn't don't happen to know why we're here or what's going on, going to happen, do you? I schätze mal erst der Hase, weil er Hasenschild anhat. I'm afraid to say we don't know any more than you do. I mean, I'm guessing. You were both attacked, tied up and brought here without any knowledge of your surroundings, right? Yep. And let me guess, the two of you woke up in some classroom with animal masks on? You freaked out when you realized you couldn't remove these colors, then some creepy voice came on the speakers and gave you a bunch of instructions? Pretty much. Then yeah, you know just about as much as we do. Hopefully we'll be getting some answers here soon, huh? Yeah, I hope so too. Anyways, it's not the best of circumstances, but it's a pleasure to meet you two. Indeed. I'm called Ox, and you can call her Mouse. Ox? Mouse? We're using the animal mask we woke up in as code names, just as a general precaution. Oh, that sounds fun. I want to join in on that. But we've already told each other our names. Yeah, but we haven't told anyone else. So then, you two can call me Tiger. Ooh, Tiger, rawr. <laughs> this here is Bunny. Uh, sure, why not? I'm Bunny, I guess, and, hope, and I hope to work with everyone to try to figure out what's happening. I hope to as well. I mean, we need to. This whole thing is crazy, right? What on earth is with this person calling themselves the Jade Emperor and raking up a school like this? Yeah, it's pretty exciting, right? What? I mean, the whole kidnapping business? That was real lame. Who assaults someone from behind with a taser? How am I supposed to fight back like that? But putting that aside, it's really an incredible opportunity we've been presented with. Waking up with an animal mask, grabbing weird tablets, listening to a mysterious challenger, meeting with a bunch of interesting characters? <laughs> this has to count as a once-in-a-lifetime once experience, right? Uh, yeah, this probably qualifies as that, but... Exactly! We're in uncharted territory. I'm gonna face this with all I've got. Yeah, it's actually kind of a lucky thing that we got kidnapped when you really think about it. Are you serious? How can you look at this with such an optimistic spin? We've been kidnapped by a mysterious stranger, and now we've got these dangerous collars strapped on our necks with which do God knows what. This is horrifying. You know, 
I was just thinking that. It's kind of like a horror story, really horrible. <sighs> Don't be such a downer. I mean, sure, this might be a bit out of her comfort zone, but it's no reason to dismiss it from the start. Who knows? This could be a lot of fun. Fun? You consider felonies fun? Uh, I think we can all agree that this will certainly be a memorable experience. Frankly, the situation is making me incre incre incredulous? Incredulous. I truly can't believe it. But we should bottle our strong emotions for now and focus on what really matters, right? Yeah, you're right. This makes that makes sense, Bunny. Hmm. What's with the look? Nothing, just uh, do I know you two? Do you? You might know me, maybe a uh, tiger, your thoughts? I don't think so. But then again, I don't got the greatest memory, so who's to say? Um, I'm probably mistaken then. It was just sort of a gut feeling, and I tried to dismiss those. <sighs> Anyways, I'm glad you choose him nice. I was. Ah, ich krieg ihr Stimme nicht hin. Die Sache ist, sie ist muskulös und weiblich. Ich kann keine muskulösen Frauen machen. <laughs> okay, warte. Okay. <clears throat> I was worried we get more Debbie downers like those two. She gestured to the two other people in the cafe. Even after all this time, they had made no effort to come and join our conversation. <laughs> You're not the friendliest with them? Not exactly. Between you and me, I would hesitate before thinking about trusting them. Oh, but don't tell them I said that, of course. Neither Bunny nor Tiger seem to have a good impression of the strangers. But considering the situation, this wasn't a time where I could afford to be picky with who I hung out with. If it's all the same to you, I think I'm going to head over there and say hi. Agreed. I think exchanging words at this point would be wise. I'll take along then. Who knows? I might just gotten off on the wrong foot. Well, you have to go ahead with that. I'm fine right here. With Tiger vocally abstaining from the meeting, the rest of us headed over to talk with the odd pair. Oh, that's which band. My cool video is in. <laughs> Despite our approach, the argument didn't seem to calm down. Oh, wow, girl. This is cool house. <clears throat> Rude woman. I know a pussy like you might not get it, but there's a lot more at stake here. It's a little something called pride, you feel me? I ain't letting no necklace stop me from doing what I want to do when I want to do it. I- Ooh, <laughs> sweet man. Believe me, I am perfectly aware of various irrational factors that may be influencing your decision making. Even adding that to my calculations, disobeying the voice at this stage is not the wise move. Do I look like I give a shit about the wise move? No, you certainly don't. Now the, now the fuck's that supposed to mean? Look, by all means, do what you wish. I believe you might serve as a very educational example for the rest of us. So a large part of me hopes that you disobey the established rules. However, due to us waking up in the same classroom, I have a very real and disturbing fear that the two of us might be considered partners for some or some such bi biocaptor. Considering that possibility, it would be awfully disadvantaged to me if my partner were dead before the game begins, even if it wouldn't make much of a difference. You wanna try saying this again? In fact, I'm telling you to. Say that again to my face. <sighs> I find repeating myself a bore, but if you insist... Hey, easy there. Uh, hi, sorry to interrupt. Just want to introduce ourselves. <sighs> Great. There's more of you. Now, where, who are you two? Well, I'm Mouse, and this right here is Ox. Ox? Mouse? <laughs> the hell kind of names are those? Ah! You two are talking, taking up the mantles of the animal pair's mask you woke up in, yes? Quite a reasonable move. In that case, you may call me Snake. Snake is nicht schlimm. Nee, Snake is nicht gut. Sch Snakes, Schlangen, sind immer die hinter hinterhältigen Dinger. Nicht gut. Hinterhältige schlecht. And this right here is Dragon. That's not my name. Feel free to do this yourself however you want. I just thought mouse naming suggestion appropriate. <laughs> well, I'm not a fan of playing pretend, but dragon does sound like the colors animal hair, so I guess I'll go with that. Snake, I'm sorry to have interrupted your conversation, 
But just a little earlier, you mentioned before the game begins. Would you mind elaborating a bit more on that point? Ah, yes. That would raise some eyebrows. To be clear, I'm not privy to any information you are not. That was simply a presumption of mine. A presumption? It would be a rather tedious process to detail every step of my thought process, especially considering the theory will soon be confirmed or denied. To put it simply, everything I've seen so far suggests that we are going to be tasked with some sort of challenge involving the whole school with our lives hanging in, it in the balance. Wait, our lives? Again, only by presumptions. I have quite the imagination, so perhaps I'm overselling the stakes. That's a sensible theory to have. I was thinking something along those lines, though. It's still far too early to call. Indeed it is. I accept that I could be entirely off the mark. Whatever the case might be, it seems as if we are unfortunately dealing with a maturish work. For one, take the abductions, attacking us, tying us up, and then just waiting for us to fall asleep? What a brutish method. Where are silenced assailants to do their job properly, surely they could have arranged some sort of soporific or to effortlessly knock each other Hör auf, solche schweren Wörter zu benutzen! They could have arranged some sort of soporific to effortlessly knock each of us out. True, getting the proper dark dosage for each of us as to not to kill would have been some work. But if they were going through the trouble of stalking us, getting a hold of our medical records surely couldn't have been too great a task. The mass as well scream of a cheap production. Did they get this at the dollar store? Truly it couldn't have been too much trouble to bother getting some mass of higher quality, seeing as they are likely to be a focal point of whatever had to come. Well, that's a real eye for deals you have there and a real passive edge towards our abduction. Oh no, don't get me mistaken. I am nothing like Miss... Uh, Tiger, that is. I find this whole thing incredibly aggravating and insulting, not to mention frightening. However, it's one thing to abduct me beautifully, another altogether to do this in such an ugly fashion. Beautifully? Look at this like this, look at it like this. Even if you dislike poetry, surely you rather read a good poetry, than bad at first. <clears throat> I don't think those two situations are comparable. Forget it with this clown. He'll talk and talk and talk with a bunch of fancy spec and logic and whatever, but he won't do shit. As opposed to you, who wish to violently ignore simply rules. Hell yeah, I wanna ignore them. I don't get why you're all knowing. I don't get why you're all. Well, you all are no towings to some bitch, too afraid to even show their face. I'm not dying to someone like that. Though someone like that was able to knock you out, right? <laughs> well, at least I actually got a hit on the assholes, unlike everyone else. You got a hit? In? Before we could further discuss that, I heard a commotion coming from the other side of the room. It appeared that two more had made their way to the starting line. Tiger was already greeting them, but I wanted to talk to everyone I could. I'm going to go talk to the new visitors. You do that. I want to talk with these three some more. I made my way over to the new guest, whose difference in builds slightly startled me. Judging by their face expressions, they were both un unamused with Tiger, who was like getting to the part where was likely getting to the part where she explained why being abducted was actually a good thing. Um, so we still don't know what's going on. Not yet, but I'm sure we'll learn soon. Hmm, I guess that's that then. What's what? Oh, mouse! Great timing. I was just, expla I was just explaining the situation to horse and sheep here. Hi, good to see more faces. How so? Seems like a downside to me. Uh, d don't be like that. Fine. It's good to meet you too, Mouse. I'm Horse. If you need anything, ask me, and I'll help if I can. Um, and I'm Sheep. It's a real relief to see that we weren't the only ones here. 
Not that I'm ungrateful for you being near yours. Not at all. You've been really nice. Just, you know, with more people, it feels like, like I'm being targeted for something. More like I'm just a part of the group, you know? I totally get how you feel. It was a, it was a relief to me as well. If I was all alone, I probably would be in tears right now. But with a group of like this, I'm sure that no matter what happens, we'll be able to band together and get through this. Yeah, now yeah, now you're talking, Mouse. That's a spirit you ought to have. What do you say, Horse? Seems unlikely. Huh? Banding together seems unlikely. Why? Just a hunch. Um, are you basing that hunch on anything? Oh, so. Kurz getrunken. Past experience. Past experience? What? Have you been in a dangerous situation like this before? Sort of. Hmm. I hoped Horse would elaborate some at the point, but it didn't seem like he was in a chatty mood. There was an awkward silence, but luckily it was interrupted by two new faces walking in. One of which I recognized. Oh, hey! Oh, hi! It was the rooster, or it was Han. What was that? More people? <laughs> Fabulous! It was real dreary, with just the two of us, no offense. None taken. Are you Zeus? I too am grateful for the presence of others. A journey alone would have been t trying. Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't have been alone. I would have been here. You have me there. Hi, how are- Hey, is that- Mouse! Uh, you can call me Mouse. We're using the animal masks we received as codenames, just in case. Stage names, huh? Well, I'm used to that something. Count me on board. I'm Rooster. And this right here is my lovely assistant, Monkey. While assistant may be one of my many roles in life, it is certainly not what I'd like to define myself as. But yes, my mask was a monkey, so you can call me as such. So, why are all of you here? I'm sad to say, but I don't recognize uh, one of you. Recognize? It's a bummer, but why we're here is still a mystery to all of us. Why? Do you know why you're here? <laughs> it's astonishingly obvious, at least to an intellect like mine. At first, I thought I was being held for ransom. Some opportunistic scoundrel was leverage, leveraging my life to get a few measly case, and I miss. But as I thought about it some more, I made the genius deduction that if that was the case, there'd be no reason to let me wander around the school, giving me the opportunity to make a stellar escape. With that first possibility off the table, then the only option left is that some rabbit fangirl captured me in order to make me act in some perverted fantasy. Understandable. So, if you all are also here, then you must also be famous that are being forced to play along. But you're saying none of you are all well known? N no. Drats. <sighs> then it appears I was a bit of the mob with the, with the theory. If you thought this was about capturing famous people, then what did you think Monkey was doing here? I don't know, I thought the villain had brought her to give me a love interest. At the time, I too thought it was a strange casting choice, but maybe just had a thing for Asian chicks. As you can see, this has been a troubling time for both of us. So, um, does this mean that you're a famous rooster? <laughs> Naturally. Really? That's so cool! Are you really? I don't recognize you. <laughs> I guess you just don't watch enough movies. Anyone who did would recognize me as an up-and-coming movie star. One of the hottest names in the film world. That's odd. I love watching movies and I don't recognize your face at all. Me neither. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I haven't exactly been made as mainstream as I thought. <laughs> at any rate, I can assure you I'm very well respected in certain circles. Definitely famous enough that crazy fans are a real problem. 
Well, I think we can safely rule that out as a motive from now, for now. Monkey, uh, monkey, it looked like you recognized Mouse, is that right? Yeah, monkey here is actually my therapist. It was a real shock to see her here. Huh, you use a therapist? What, did someone, something really messed up happen in your past or something? Unnecessary. You don't need some tragic event in your life for a therapist to be useful. Excellent, you sad horse. More and more, we're learning that every human has struggles in their lives. Though some may appear greater than others from the outside, we can't know how everyone handles them. What we can know is that everyone deserves to be at peace, living a happy life. Finding a stable mental state is an essential step for many in the process. Aha, uh -huh, now. It's one thing if something super tragic happened, but otherwise it just sounds like you're not approaching life with a good enough attitude. Excuse me. Peace, peace. It is quite understandable in a mindset. Society has many broad misconceptions about mental health, reinforced by history spent dismissing what is natural as a weak. I commend you, Tiger, for being able to maintain such a positive outlook in life. I agree that for someone like you, I doubt therapy would be of much use. <laughs> Obviously, who wouldn't? Who, why would it? As this conversation continued, I noticed that two more people had entered the cafeteria. Not really, no, that's why. Sind wir bei 12? Vielleicht. The other group was already filling them in, but I decided I wanted to make my introductions, so I walk over to them. Uh, so I guess I'd be dark then. And you're fine with being called that? You can come up with anything you want, honestly. I honestly don't give a shit. Just don't call me late to dinner. <laughs> that joke wasn't worth a chuckle. Yep. I thought it was kind of funny. Why? I, I guess you can call me Pig then. Oh, I don't like that very much at all. Would boar be preferable? Not really. Hey guys, it's nice to meet you two. Ah, Mouse, a pleasure to have you rejoin us. It's pretty nuts what's going on right now, isn't it? You're telling me? I'm, I am losing it right now. I mean, what even is happening? Why can't my life just be nice and simple, simple and clean? That's all I ever wanted. But no, no, I have to be trapped in this scary school with those scary masks and a scary collar. I hate it, it's so... scary? Exactly! Uh -huh. Yep, this pretty much blows. I mean, if you're going to kill me, just get on with it. Don't make me wade through all this bullshit. Doing a race or whatever, such a pain. Then why go along with it? I said it once and I said it again. We've no obligation to do what this voice fuck tells us to. Yeah, but... I don't know, it's not like there's been any difficulty in the instructions so far. Might as well go along with them. You know, why not, right? That's your reasoning for obeying the commands? Pretty much. Seems awfully blase of you. Thank you! He's been like this the whole time. Like we haven't been kidnapped and put in a life or death situation. This is this is a situation to freak out. But for some reason he's just been acting like this is chill. Like this is all good or something. I mean, watching him not lose it has been making me lose it, you know? Pay took a deep breath in, and then let a deep breath out. Three, two, okay, I'm fine. Sorry, I think I was a little much there. I tend to sometimes lose control of my emotions a little bit. <laughs> I know, it's annoying, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no need to apologize. This is exactly the sort of situation where you should freak out. Though it would be preferable if you didn't. Oh, das klingt nach einer guten Stelle zum Pausieren, denn das scheint was Besonderes zu sein, was ganz gruselig ist. Uh, nein, was passiert bloß jetzt? Wir werden sehen. Erstmal haben wir unsere Charaktere kennengelernt. Ich glaube, es sind alle zwölf. Haben wir alle zwölf? Wir waren zwei. Dann kamen Bunny und Tiger. Dann Dragon und Snake. Dann Horse und Sheep. Dann kam Rooster und Monkey. Und dann kam Pig und Dog. Ich glaube, es sind alle zwölf. 
Sechser, zwei Pärre. Sind denn alle aus dem chinesischen Zeichen dabei überhaupt? Ich glaube, da fehlt doch einer oder nicht. Warte, lass mich kurz googeln. Irgendwie fehlt mir ein bestimmtes Symbol, aber ich weiß nicht, ob es dabei war oder nicht. Also mal gucken, ich google mal kurz, dann sehen wir, ob es dabei war. Wir gehen der Sache auf den Grund. So, mal gucken. Mmh, klick. Da. Da, 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 wir haben Ratte, hatten wir, wenn ich, also Maus für mich, Ochse, Tiger, Hase, Drache, Schlange, Pferd, Ziege, ich glaube Ziege haben wir nicht, Affe, äh, Rooster, Wahan, Hund und Schwein, oh, anstatt Sheep haben wir Goat, wie ich auch anstatt Ratte Maus bin, okay, das macht Sinn, das macht Sinn, okay. Wir haben alles zwölf. Das sind alles zwölf, die es gibt. Cool. Das heißt, wir haben alle kennengelernt, die wahrscheinlich mitspielen werden. Jetzt geht es darum, wer ist der Böse, wer ist der Gute, wem kann ich vertrauen? Finde ich es raus, finde ich es raus oder werde ich wohl irgendwann tot sein? Was für ein catchy Jingle. So, dann werden wir im nächsten paar... Ja, schreibt mir gerne mal in den Kommentar rein, was ihr für Theorien habt, wer vertrauenswürdig ist, wenn nicht. Wem würdet ihr vertrauen? Wem würdet ihr hassen? Würde ich gerne wissen. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zugucken und hoffe, im nächsten Part wird es spannend für uns alle, denn dann werden wir vielleicht erfahren, worum es sie geht. Dann sehen wir uns da. Tschüss!